Hey there. You're probably well aware that I love fishing all over Central America, especially here in Belize. But I also lead tours here to Belize, and I want to show you what we did this week while we were here in Belize. We enjoyed amazing fishing, cave tubing, beautiful sunsets, finding monkeys in the jungle, exploring Mayan ruins, and so much more. One of the first things we did in the country of Belize was we stayed at the zoo, where we got a private tour to go see the animals at night. It was awesome seeing the beautiful jaguars and other animals up close. One of my favorite things to do in Belize is to visit different Mayan ruin sites. They are so impressive and gorgeous. I love walking through them and wondering what it would have been like to see these during the heyday of the Mayan Empire. One of my favorite ruins to visit all of Belize is Cajal Pech, located in San Ignacio. It is so neat and interesting to walk through the place, learning about the history of the Mayan people. And I love exploring and looking through various passages and coming out into new plazas every time. I am amazed at the ingenuity and engineering of the Mayan civilization. The next day, we went to Nohoch Chen to visit a beautiful cave in Belize. Not only were caves sacred to the Mayan people, but many are still open now to the public and you can take tours of them. One of the things that makes this cave special is there's a river flowing through it and they have inner tubes so you can float through the cave system. As we floated through the cave, our guide would point out unique rock formations and tell us the history of the cave and why it was important to the Mayans. My favorite part of the cave is about halfway through, you get a chance to get out and do a little bit of exploring. They even have a ledge that can jump on. For those who are interested, there's a section of the cave where the guide will take you and guide you through a series of small rooms and caverns that you swim through. It's really awesome. After we were all done exploring the cave and jumping off the ledge and everything, we hopped back in our tubes and floated out of the cave back into the main river. After we had dried off, changed our clothes and had lunch, we hopped back in the van and headed way down south to a remote jungle lodge in southern Belize. Built along the Moho River, Cotton Tree Lodge had beautiful cabanas nestled right on the banks of the river. The cabanas were thatched with beautiful insides, private bathrooms, plenty of space, and my favorite, the private balconies with your very own hammock for relaxing in. Nothing was more peaceful than laying in that hammock listening to the birds in the trees. After we settled in, we were led on a walk through the rainforest, and our guide named Armando managed to spot monkeys in the trees. Going deeper in the jungle, Armando told us he had some really cool things to show us. Armando suddenly got very excited, found a protective vine, took out his machete, and chopped it up into pieces, and wow. showed us how they can find water in the jungle anytime they need. It was pretty warm, so after our stroll through the jungle, we all went to the river, enjoyed swimming, cooling off, and I got to enjoy awesome rope swimming. The next morning, I went fishing with one of the guides at the lodge. <laughs> They're on the Moho River, and I managed to catch a pretty good sized snook. Oh, oh yeah! Oh. Yeah! Woo! Yes! Oh my goodness! That is a good snook. I wanted to show the group the unique influence the Mayan cultures had on some of our culinary experiences in today's world. So we went to a home of a Mayan family and made tortillas with them. And one of the things that Southern Belize is best known for is chocolate. And there is no better place to go try samples of chocolate and learn about the chocolate making process than Ishkakao, located in San Felipe, just down the road from Cotton Tree Lodge. During the presentation on where chocolate comes from, we started with picking fresh cacao pods directly from the tree. Then Henry, who was giving the presentation, cut open the pod, showing us the fruit inside, got to sample chocolate pieces, and even got the point of grinding chocolate beans to make chocolate. You could definitely say that tour was really sweet. After the chocolate tour, we drove up to the beautiful beachside town of Placencia. For our first full day in Placencia, we went with Jermaine from Naughty by Nature Charters all the way out to Moho Key, several miles offshore, to, which is a beautiful island with gorgeous 
white sand beaches, turquoise waters where we could swim and snorkel and play, lay in the sun. And we love the spot eagle rays and everything. They just come right up by us at the beach. While I sat there on the soft sand watching a crab dig a hole, Jordan, a pretty serious fly fisherman who was with me, went out to the surf and took several casts. He managed to catch four fish before lunch. While we were busy playing, Jermaine was busy working. You might say he was cooking up something pretty special. Fish, sausage, chicken, coleslaw, beans, grilled pineapple. Everybody got one so far? <laughs> Woo! Sitting here on the beach. We don't get no better than this. <clears throat> he said that when the camera wasn't on him. Wait, what did you say? I said it don't get no better than this. <laughs> you better believe it, right, Chris? <laughs> Our bellies were full, but the water was calling. So we decided to go snorkeling. The snorkeling in Belize is absolutely amazing. Some of the best I've ever seen. The Belize Barrier Reef is part of the Mesoamerican Reef, which starts way up above the Yucatan and comes all the way down across Mexico, all the way down across Belize and even past Honduras. While I was swimming around the water, it was pretty easy to find beautiful parrotfish, French angelfish, and so many different species of fish swimming there in the coral. And the fish aren't the only thing that are beautiful and thriving there in the ocean. The corals themselves and the sea fans, the shapes, the colors, the vibrancy, the diversity is so beautiful just swimming around peacefully. On our last day, we decided to do some fishing. We wanted to go outside the reef and target big fish like Wahoo, but the weather wasn't cooperating. It was pretty windy and the swells were about four feet. It made it very difficult even with the waves, we did have one hit. And after about five minutes of fighting, Jordan had a pretty good barracuda up to the boat. Fish I've caught yet. <laughs> <laughs> as much fun as it is to catch a big barracuda, we decided it was just too rough to be trolling for fish like Cuda and Wahoo and such. So we decided to change it up and do some bottom bouncing for strawberry grouper. Oh, we got one! Strawberry grouper. Okay, good job. Oh, we got one on right here too. Chris has got one. Oh, we got a yellow tail. And the fish just kept coming and coming. Look back there side and Jordan had one on. There's a strawberry grouper. And then I looked over and John had another one on. Nice fish. And suddenly it just seemed as fast as we could get the lines in the water. We had fish in the boat. Oh, we got a triple. Damn, that's a real good one. All right, Jordan, you have to hold that one out here for me. <laughs> Maddox, you okay over here? I think he's gonna pull you back in the water. Along with the strawberry groupers and yellowtail snappers, we also got several of these porgies. Check out how beautiful this strawberry grouper is. It was about this time that I realized if I wanted to catch a fish, I'd better get a fishing pole in my hand. So I handed the camera off, grabbed a fishing pole, and dropped the bait down. Yeah. Strawberry grouper. This is my very first strawberry grouper I've ever caught. Again, these are gorgeous fish, beautiful colors. I handed my rod off to someone else to have a turn, I looked over, and John and Chris had a double. That's much bigger. <laughs> okay. Nice job, guys. After a couple more rounds of watching the catch fish, I wanted one more shot to see if I could catch a pretty good size. Oh, yeah. That's a good shot. Yeah. Sure enough, I managed to catch the biggest strawberry grouper of the day. After getting back from fishing, we spent the remainder of that day and the next morning just relaxing and enjoying the beach. One of my favorite things about Placencia is this walkway with all the restaurants and bars and trinket shops and ice cream places and smoothie stands. Totally cool place to chill and hang out. Hey there, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I love taking people to Belize. If you ever want to join me on a trip, go to crazygoodfishing.com, check out our packages, send me a message, 
and we'll get you to Belize and you can enjoy the beautiful beaches of Belize, do some fishing, snorkeling, go to the jungles, we'll do some chocolate farm tours. We're gonna go to big ruins, do some caving. So again, thanks for watching. You better Belize it.